Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, all parkrun events around the world have been cancelled indefinitely. This short film was made as a follow-up to the original parkrun documentary, made on March 14th, 2020, filmed at the last parkrun event in the UK. We tried to re-interview some of the people featured in it and were lucky enough to talk to Paul Sinton Hewitt, who founded the very first parkrun in 2004 in Bushy Park, London. How do you personally feel without parkrun? I would say that I'm very proud of me. the parkrun community has remained in touch with each other over this period how they have been very creative, creating to, to engage with each other, the challenges that been online, the, the way that the community has responded to the lockdown. Of course, we, it's a very concerning time because none of us know what the future holds and how we're going to get out of lockdown and whether that's going to mean that parkrun can continue as it used to continue or we'll have to continue in a different way or maybe not at all. All of the unanswered questions are still a problem for us, but I would say that on the whole, I'm very happy that we didn't just hear that we have continued to help people and people are continuing to help us. What other feedback have you had from other parkrunners? There's been a lot of communication online. As you know, People are doing this on Saturday morning, but they're doing it wherever they can. They're not going to the parks and they're running it. And some events are holding um, spread results of people who've, who've attended or who have run the 5K. There are all sorts of YouTube videos going on. So there's been a lot of really positive feedback. I've seen no negative feedback whatsoever. So it's been a, an incredibly of time for us all even though we're suffering a very difficult time in the lockdown since parkrun hasn't been open how has it affected your fitness i really miss parkrun and i miss the community of it and i miss seeing people and being together and running with people but because i've been working from home and because my kids are at home what i've been doing is i've been running more often like i've been running with my son in particular so i'm not really very sporty and neither am i and so we managed to go out every day but i don't think we would have done that if we hadn't got into the habit of running with parkrun in the first place so i'm a run director for junior parkrun i also so miss that as well and I suspect it also impacts a bit on your mental fitness doesn't it your mental health well I've still been running but in isolation from people which isn't the same you know us runners we like to have company we like to have a chat and we also like structure and weekend and you know to the weekend and we like to meet up and have a set purpose and also to add value in a group or, and to the communities so it's really the the, the mental wellness of, of of meeting with people I think has been, been more affected I'm still running you know my, I've always run because running is a regular and a habitual thing for me to do but it's certainly feels more lonely than than uh, now parkrun and junior parkrun aren't here. Fitness wise um, quite a lot but also with lockdown that you're not as active as much and yeah it's very much affecting my running fitness and also my weight I've, I've increased in weight. Well I've definitely got slower because I think Although Parkrun is very inclusive and not all about being the fastest, it definitely makes me run faster than if I'm running on my own. I think when you go running on your own, you just kind of run at a comfortable pace. Whereas especially, I've got a lot of friends who do Parkrun and we quite often do them together. And there's a bit of friendly rivalry. So when I'm doing Parkrun every week and I'm trying to beat, beat my friends, I run a lot harder than I do when I'm on my own. I've been still trying to get out and run. Obviously, I was only doing the park run on a Saturday. I wasn't doing any of the running. Um, but my other class that I was doing, which was a trampoline class, also closed down. So that left me with, with nothing, really. So I, I sort of took the ball by the horns and thought, I have to do a little bit more running. So I've been doing two to three 5K runs um, a week to try and sort of obviously make up for what, what I've been not able to do since I've been stuck at home. Well... Now, funny you should say that because without part run, Emma and I have been running more than we used to. Yeah. Because she's at home now, working yeah. from home, we've gone out together and we've run three, four times a week. And you wouldn't expect this to be the case, but we've actually got fitter 
than yeah. we were when part run was going. It's not affected my fitness particularly at all. Um, I run a lot anyway, so I probably run most days, four or five days a week. So in terms of fitness, especially now I can get out a bit more, it hasn't affected me at all. I just miss it in other ways. So me and my family, we also run. Um, we've got a weekly competition we have where we run a mile as fast as we can with a bunch of others. So it's keeping us healthy and competitive. We've also set up some fitness stuff in our garage, which helps us stay fit and healthy as well. How's it affected you mentally and socially not being able to do park run every week? I don't think it's so much a part run, it's a bit afterwards. So I'd go and meet friends, have coffee and socialise. And it's actually that social circle that I've been missing that human contact. Uh, that's had a huge impact and I think for a lot of people it's it's had a massive impact. Weekends can be quite lonely for a lot of people where all the structure of the weeks disappeared and to start uh, the Saturday or Sunday morning with park run or junior park run really um, really you get the feel good factor you really set you up for the day your spirits are high and your mood lifts and of course if you start the morning in a good mood that good mood can last into the rest of the day. Now, without that, it's, it's quite hard to get motivated, also to feel like you've got a purpose, really. And particularly, you can't really add value to your community. So, you, as I said, you, you maybe don't have such a sense of belonging and you're kind of left in limbo mentally. So you can stay physically fit, but actually without any park runs or even other races to enter, it's actually mentally doesn't feel so rewarding. It, it's been difficult at times. I, I mean, I help organise the events, so I'm heavily involved with it. But it's one of the main ways I get to see all my friends, really, on a Saturday morning, go and do the run, meet, have a chat afterwards, go for coffee with a whole bunch of people. There's a whole load of people as well that I see that I wouldn't see if it wasn't for park runs. They're not necessarily friends of mine, but I catch up with them down there, ask about how things are and that kind of stuff. And so I, I really have missed that part of it. That Look, I think so far I'm okay. I think it's because I know that it's coming back soon. Well, no, actually, I don't know that it's coming back soon. It could take ages, couldn't it?